that's nice, that's nice. So, only fans, YouTube, anything else? I scam man. <laughs> All right, there has been drama with Saji again. She did a collab with Young Mike and K Showtime that at first was funny, but then things got real. So, let's talk about it. The body needs to be fat. The body's not fat, bro. I don't know. Like, I like ugly guys that are awkward and watch anime. So, if you've been keeping up with Sagittarius Shorty, you know she did a blind date with another YouTuber, Young Mike, that was set up by K Showtime. Now, depending on your personality, you might have found the video creepy, weird, corny, or even funny. Quick question, what would you rate my voice from a scuff from 1 to 10? You have an average voice, so like a 5. Nah, I don't believe it. Young Mike got that super deep voice. You should really get into radio. Where do you see yourself in 5 years? Rich as f***. Rich as f***. How about what? you? You know, probably in a house with you, you feel me? <clears throat> Separate rooms? Nah. You and him. You and me. Y'all probably look cute right. together. Mm. Oh. Ooh. That's how you feel then, buddy? Oh, man, you know the f vibes. What school do you go to? I go to York University. What are you laughing for? That school's a joke. <laughs> No, it all started off lighthearted. Jokes were being cracked, and Young Mike was doing what he always does, which is try and make the video funny. But it also was kind of coming off a certain way, depending on how you were looking at it. Now give her a lap dance, bro. No, I'm f kidding, bro. Don't touch me no more. <laughs> God, don't push uh, me, bro. Uh, uh, <laughs> Now, Young Mike was getting real touchy-feely because it was a prank video, but Saji didn't know that and she looked really uncomfortable. Now, but rate him on a scale from 1 to 10. She says she likes ugly guys, so if she gives you a high rating, that means you're ugly. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? So... I got that night, you didn't play. You feel me? Yeah. I know. So... <laughs> I don't think she believes you, bro. Nothing, I'm sure. Hey, you gotta close this blind date out, bro. Close hmm? it out the right way. You gotta close it out. Well, how? He gotta close it out. How? Okay. Now, some of you might be saying he was acting weird, but it was a prank video. He was trying to make it funny. Well, that's what I thought until I saw this. And you have a little dick. Oh. A little dick. You probably do. I don't. We're what? Uh, we're married. Me and you are married? Yeah. Since when? Since right now. your hand. No. Are you sure? Positive. I'm not from Toronto. I just thought in here. Now, in the usual Saji way, things started to get real and started to escalate. I come to Toronto for penis. <laughs> Touch my hand one more time and I'm gonna fucking slap your balls off. I like that. I know, I know your dick is pinched as f because it's not even showing through your pants, bitch. I educate it in the fans. You, you really think that just because I dropped out of high school that I'm not educated, bitch? So the prank video came out on K Showtime's channel. It went viral, then Young Mike's video came out and it took off. But it was all drama and downhill from there. Now, there have been accusations thrown around starting with the R word, especially on Twitter that I don't want to get into because of YouTube's guidelines, so go there and read them for yourself. But what I don't understand is why is people's egos so fragile? Why are creators on their lives having their fans clowning each other without taking control of the situation? That in turn led to Saji feeling a ways and she started to clown back. 
and then it started to pop off with accusations on YouTube, Twitter, and the gram. No, those allegations are all fake. I did not do this. I did not do that. I'm not gonna, like, you know, get into detail. Like, I haven't, what am I saying? But you know, if you know, you know, but those allegations are all fake. But, like, I'm, like I'm gonna say again, I'm truly sorry for everything, everything that went down on Friday. As of right now, I'm just gonna stay low key from social, social media, like Instagram, all that stuff, but I'll still push out content for my supporters. I don't know what was going through my mind when I made these bad decisions, these bad choices, bad mistakes. I wish I could, like, you know, restart everything and you know did something else said something else in the video said something else in that video if you know you know i'm not gonna go into detail but you know i get blindfolded the other guy gets blindfolded the whole time he's touching me up like you know i'm not feeling like please don't touch me I'm not gonna lie, money is not great right now. Um, and I did tell you guys that I've been spending like a dumbass and I'm kind of like, not only that, like, you know, I just, money's just not great right now. I'm just gonna put it at that. So I needed an OnlyFans content. There was a dick right in front of me. I haven't had, I didn't want to bring people to my house. I haven't been inviting guys over because I, because listen, I like to do a whole routine before I have sex, okay? I'm not sitting here saying I didn't have, didn't want to have sex with him because his dick was big, whatever. Like he wasn't a bad looking guy. Um. So there you have it. Saji needed to collab with local creators and create OnlyFans content if anyone was down. Young Mike collabed to increase his subscriber base, and so did Kay Showtime. So, why was there a problem? Actually, there are so many, like, times where he was out of the room doing something, and then, because there was another point where we were sitting on the bed, and he literally looked at me and he said, let me eat your p***y, let me eat your p***y, and I was like, no, like, no. There, there's a bunch of me fucking saying no. So, after that whole, like, situation of him trying to hook up with me, the man gets on live, and he just automatically starts calling me a hippo, telling me I'm built like a house. So I started clapping back, yeah. Like, obviously I'm not gonna sit here and let you fucking shit about me after you just had your dick in my mouth. I really appreciate that Saji can reach out to a person she's having issues with to see if they're mentally okay. That shows a lot of maturity and empathy towards a certain situation, and I can always respect her for doing that. And look how fucking far I've come. No offense, but look how fucking far I've come. Last this time last year, I was in fucking jail. Okay? I was in jail. Now I have my own fucking crib and I have over 100k subscribers on fucking YouTube. Oh, maybe that's not a lot to y'all, but yeah, from going to being in jail to having my own crib is a lot for someone who's been homeless. So. And for all you people out there hating on me and calling me fat, first of all, if you're a female and you're out there fat shaming me and making fun of my body, fake making fun of my, like me in general, calling me ugly and shit, you are not a real woman. Women don't fucking go around tearing down other women. Period. She has a point, plus she handled the fallout from Friday pretty well, so far. When he said in his video, that he didn't know it was Sagittarius shoddy. After we were done filming and I was on his phone or whatever, I took his phone from him and I literally went on um his search bar to search my name and Twitter. My name was in his recent searches. It literally said Sagittarius shoddy in his recent searches. You're right, Saji. He knew who you were because it was supposed to have been a prank video that didn't turn out well, just like how your prank video with Emily didn't turn out good either. Now, the whole point of my video is that boundaries need to be respected between content creators or things might go poorly. Just use this situation as an example.